As we rolled out our strategic vision, I wanted something that our airmen could think about. How do I remember this? Readiness, growth and professional development of our airmen, airmen with a big A, civilians, officer, listed, across the board. But it also talks about our modernization, and it's just not modernization of the aircraft. It's modernization of where things are old, they're breaking, that we need to really look at and program out. But the biggest emphasis is on the end, and that's the nuclear piece. Because I do have a nuclear mission that supports our nation. So let's talk about readiness. One of the things we're gonna do with readiness, I want people to train as they fight. And we're gonna go out and we're gonna actually execute all our core mission sets. Air medical evacuation, air refueling, delivering cargo. We're gonna do forcible entries. We're gonna do en route support. So you're gonna be able to do in realistic training in about two weeks of period, you're gonna be able to knock out all your training, get your readiness up, and you're actually gonna practice as we know right now if we execute war. The second piece is, is the GNSO growth and the professional development. If I have guest speakers come in, when's the last time you heard a motivational speaker? Or have you ever? Well, maybe you need to because just motivational speakers get you to thinking. It gets that thirst. It gets you that thirst for knowledge. How do I make myself better? It's also part of diversity and inclusion. We're looking across the broad spectrum. We talked about modernization, modernization of our equipment modernization to make things better, the way, whether it's computers or systems or IT, and we're gonna get after cyber in this modernization because that's a big threat for us. And then lastly is the nuclear piece. If you have a nuclear mission, polish off the nuclear mission. It's our nation's number one priority, it's my number one priority. So if you got an inspection, you look at it, you make sure you can do those inspections well, and you make sure you can serve the nation's needs through those inspections, through your training, through your readiness and through your professional growth. Through that acronym, Rapid Global Mobility Now. It is all synchronized. And our future vision is gonna take us to the 20, 30, 20, 50 timeframe. I'm really stretching goals out here. Know where we're going and how we want to execute this thing.